This is a work of political and social commentary. The content of this video is not meant for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. I've been advised to include more detailed explanations on my content warnings. It was explained to me that a warning without specifics is practically useless because it doesn't explain what content I'm featuring which might offend or give parents a chance to decide if that content is something that their kids can watch. Well now, that's worth a roasted opinion. As stated in my content warning, Roasted Opinions is a work of political and social commentary. What that means, at least to me, is that the subject matter may be a little bit too inflammatory for young children, and that parents should consider whether their children are too emotionally vulnerable to handle disagreements and criticisms regarding positions they support on the issues discussed. I'm a crusty, grizzled old retired army sergeant, after all, and people like me tend to have a deserved reputation for being caustic. It's not just a trope, folks. I used to tell the soldiers who work for me that I have a finite capacity for stupid, usually with a blunt assessment of how fast they were exhausting that capacity. In nearly every case, they weren't actually stupid. Rather, they were acting stupid. And I learned early on the levels of effectiveness for sarcastic quips given in a grouchy voice when correcting misbehaving soldiers. Please note that I said misbehaving, not mistaken. If they were still learning, then they got patience and support until they learned. If they should have already known better, well, that's different. Now, minors are more likely to be mistaken. On this channel, though, I'm not trying to be gentle, patient, or supportive. I'm trying to get adults informed, get them thinking, and maybe even get them to see my point. Why? Because the subjects I discuss are issues which I think are important. Some of them are very important. So, in my opinion, we should be discussing these issues as adults, and older teenagers should be allowed to consider those discussions so that they can make an informed decision of their own. But kids under 13? Um, no. Just, no. Let them enjoy their childhood free from gloom and doom. People learn hope when they are very young. Children under the age of 13 often have problems, especially when they are very young, separating fantasy from reality. That's what makes propaganda aimed towards children so very effective. Telling little kids that the world is going to end because this year is a tenth of a degree hotter on average than last year, or that unaccompanied children are sleeping under emergency blankets because the facilities in border detention centers are over capacity, or that certain cities are now saturated in trash and human feces because of increasing homelessness is blatantly irresponsible, in my opinion. We have near-epidemic levels of diagnosed anxiety in the United States right now. Does anyone else think that it might have something to do with how much gloom and doom little kids are fed these days? Now, I was also asked about trigger warnings and labels for specific content. I don't do that, and I normally won't do that in the future. And why not? Because if it's content which is commonly considered a trigger, it's usually against the terms of service or needs to be limited to adults 18 plus only. Most of the time, such content simply wouldn't be germane to the episode anyway. If it's content which really triggers me, then it won't be in a Roasted Opinions episode either. Simply put, I have to write, read, record, and listen to the content on each of these videos at least a dozen times before the finished episode gets uploaded. If the content triggers me, then I'll likely never get through it anyway. And last but not least, if I include a list of every potentially triggering bit of content at the start of every video, then there wouldn't be anyone watching by the time they got done reading that list. Seriously. Political and social commentary, folks. People do stupid stuff all the time and commentary is supposed to point out errant stupidity. Politicians and public figures are just as fallible as anyone else, too. So, on any given episode, these videos might be discussing any of these commonisms or any of a number of phobias. Not just socio-political phobias, which are merely catchphrases for bigotry and perceived bigotry either. Some people have actual diagnosable phobias that might appear on the show. I know people afraid of snakes, spiders, bodies of water, electricity, driving, being alone, being in a crowd, being the center of attention, being ignored, 
being wrong, being exposed to germs, the dark, dogs, cats, rodents, birds, insects, confined spaces, open spaces, heights, distances, government surveillance, police and other emergency services, soldiers, and contaminated food and water supplies, just to name a few of the hundreds of subjects of clinically diagnosable phobias. Finally, and this is most important, for those of you who are at least 13 years old, you will potentially face upsetting situations every day of your life. Adults know this already, or they should. Most people simply will not pad the corners for you and round off the edges. Each of us needs to be prepared to face our fears and our triggers. We may still be frightened or triggered, but we have to know how to handle the brief moments when they are in our lives. Like I said before, I'm not your nanny. You are adults and potential adults, and I will treat you like adults. Doing anything else would be disrespectful.